Okay, you're thinking of running a marathon. You're thinking of starting the training process for a marathon. There are a lot of good reasons to start training for a marathon and running a marathon. In fact, there's lots of videos about that and I'm not going to get into that. Let's just say though, it is a fantastic accomplishment to run a marathon, particularly a first marathon. So today I'm going to give you three reasons why perhaps you should not run a marathon or not start training for that marathon, that 12 to 16 to 20 week program. Should you start it or not? Let's get into that today. Three reasons why maybe, maybe you shouldn't. So the number one reason why maybe you shouldn't start training for a marathon is health, number one. Do you have a persistent injury in your legs somewhere, an Achilles tendinopathy, a patella tendon issue, a plantar fasciitis? Do you have any of those sorts of potentially ongoing and slowly resolving conditions? Well, get that right first before you start training for a marathon. A marathon is a long way. The training for a good marathon takes a lot of time and effort. <laughs> That's a potentially going to break you down instead of build you up. The other part of health is, do you have some other health problem? Like, I've got atrial fibrillation, a heart arrhythmia, which is good since I had a cardiac ablation a year ago. But my cardiologist said, no more marathons, John. And I've run enough. I don't need to run anymore. Do you have a health condition which your doctor or specialist says precludes, excludes you perhaps from the big effort involved in training and running a marathon? Do you have an undiagnosed condition that you should know about before you start training? If you're getting up an age a little, if you've got some known existing health issues, perhaps it'd be a good idea to go and see your doctor and get a checkup before you start running training for a marathon. And secondly, maybe why you shouldn't start training for a marathon. You're lacking the time. Are there other priorities? Remember, there's a lot going on in most people's lives and perhaps a marathon and training for it, which takes quite a bit of effort. And those long runs, remember, take quite a bit of time. Are there other priorities that you, that you should make? Relationships, for example. Um, perhaps work is very busy and you can't get out of the amount of work you're doing um, and your training is going to be very compromised because of that. Makes for an ugly marathon in the end, let me tell you. <laughs> you want to make it as joyful ex of, of an experience as you can and I know I've had some wonderful marathon experiences and I'd love to have another one again but I don't have any reason to run any more marathons that is. I love to run and I will continue to do so as long as my health allows. So number two, priorities. Are there other priorities? Do you have enough time? And perhaps there's a third reason. Maybe you're a relative novice to this great recreational activity of running. Maybe you haven't even started training yet, but you'd, you'd like to run a marathon. May I advise, get yourself right over some shorter distances, running some shorter distances quickly first, like a park run or a, enter an event with, that has a 10K or a half marathon. 
get those under your belt first before you attempt a marathon. It can be done without, you can run a marathon, you can train for a marathon without those previous events under your belt, but I know from experience, for myself and for training others, that it's a good idea to get some of those events in first before you start training for your so if you're thinking of starting to train for a marathon and you've got a bit of a niggly injury, why don't you get it checked out by a good physiotherapist? I don't know whether I'm good or not, but I'm certainly a physio <laughs> that's got a fair bit of experience with running injuries, treating and uh, many, many patients over the years and getting them ready, getting them ready, getting them healthy before we start training for a marathon. And if you've got that health, potential health issue, why don't you go and see a doctor as well. And as a running coach myself, if you think you are ready and you want a training program that's suited to you, particularly with your priority of time and other things that might be impacting on your life, um, come and talk to me and we'll see what we can do to help you start that or at least think about training for the marathon. What a great event a marathon is to complete, particularly the first one. I know I, I was very emotional after my first marathon and my first ultra marathon. It's just wonderful feeling, sense of achievement, accomplishment. And I'd like you to have that feeling too. However, are you ready? Should you be running a marathon? Should you be training for a marathon now? or ever. So I leave that to you. Can you think of any other reasons why maybe you shouldn't run a marathon or start training for one? I'll leave it to you. All for now. Oh yes, and maybe one other reason why it may not be wise to run a marathon is quite often after you complete the event, the next day and sometimes even the day after, you may walk like this.